Hello and welcome dear viewers uh, to this special edition covering the uh, press conference that was just concluded between uh, Foreign Minister Semeh Shukri and his Slovenian counterpart Tanya Fion uh, in Cairo. Both leaders discussed the dire situation in Gaza and uh, bilateral relations between the two countries. And on this topic we're delighted to be joined over the phone by Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, political analyst. Good afternoon, sir. Well, good afternoon to you. Hello to you and I am even more delighted uh, sir, uh, a press conference was just concluded between Foreign Minister Semeh Shukri and his uh, Slovenian counterpart, Tanya Fayon. Uh, in Cairo, uh, both leaders discussed the dire situation in Gaza and, uh, of course, the uh, bilateral relations between Egypt and Slovenia. How do you see the significance of uh, this uh, conference and uh, its timing also? Well, uh, I believe that uh, communication and uh, cooperation with our friendly countries like uh, Slovenia is in uh, the heart of our uh, attention uh, of the, the, the Palestinian rights in the occupied land and I believe that we share uh, almost the same point of views about the, the, the Arabic rights in this uh, occupied land by the Zionist existence and of course uh, we share the, the, the care and the attention of the civilians in Gaza Strip uh, that uh, are uh, suffering from the uh, Israeli siege uh, around uh, their, uh, their homelands. And of course, uh, Egypt and Slovenia are uh, hailing the, 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 the efforts, uh, the common efforts to, 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 to give and to, to help uh, the Palestinians there and moving uh, over more aids, more uh, supplies for their lives to continue until this conflict uh, is over. And I believe it's going to be over soon. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, well, sir, uh, the Slovenian foreign minister spoke about the dire situation in Gaza. She spoke about the suffering of a whole generation of children over there. Uh, she spoke also about the killing of uh, journalists. Uh, 103 uh, journalists lost their lives uh, reporting from Gaza. Uh, she spoke about the international community and the role of the international community. Uh, how do you assess the role of the international community with regards to the Gaza Strip and the current situation over there? Uh, well, I believe there is uh, two sides uh, for this question. Uh, the first side uh, is <coughs> the, the international co commu community uh, concerning the nations, the nations all around the world that are sympathizing and uh, moving towards belief in the Arabic right in the occupied lands and knowing and recognizing who is the uh, aggression side, which, which is the Zionist existence. And uh, that part of the uh, international awareness of the, the true heart of this conflict, this historical conflict between right and wrong, between the Arabic uh, occupied land and the uh, colonizer, which is uh, Israel. That is, is a very important side that gives high pressure on the Western regimes and most of the, 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 the world uh, regimes to take more actions, to, make, to, make, to take even a stronger uh, positive action uh, against the Zionist ex uh, existence uh, aggression and to sympathize and to help and to uh, stand by the Arabic uh, rights in uh, occupied lands. And of course, we have witnessed uh, one day before uh, now, the, the, uh, the, the very important and uh, historical resolution by hundreds of uh, countries to support the declaration of, uh, of, the, of having uh, Palest uh, the Palestinians the right, uh, the right to declare their own uh, independent state. It's, an, it's a very significant uh, move, despite it's not committing uh, to any uh, to any of the the the, the, the conflict uh, sides, but it, it signifies and uh, really uh, shows how important the uh, international awareness 
all over the world of the, of the, the, the heart and the core of this conflict. And I believe by the end uh, of this um, decade, th there will be uh, dramatic cha changes for the benefit of the Arabic rise and for the, the, the unit's existence to be non-existent anymore. Mm. Right. Uh, the Slovenian uh, foreign minister also spoke about bilateral relations between uh, Egypt and Slovenia. She spoke about boosting uh, trade and economic relations uh, uh, in the future. Uh, how do you see the significance of uh, boosting bilateral relations between Egypt and Slovenia? Well, the, the, uh, the bilateral relations between uh, Egypt and Slovenia has taken a, a strong uh, direction and a, and, a, and a high level cooperation between uh, the two countries uh, beginning of the era of the presidency of Mr. President Abdel Fattah Sisi concerning his strategy that uh, preserves strong relations with uh, both, uh, both powers in the world, East and West. Of course, Slovenia is one of the, 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 the countries that gained the Egyptian approval uh, as an independent state since it was uh, declared uh, almost uh, 25 or 30 years ago. And of course, we have uh, strong relations with the, 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 the nation itself, with the Slavs in Slovenia itself. We have uh, historical ties uh, on, the, on, the on the international side, on the, 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 the nation side. And of course, we have history enough and political uh, relations strong enough to boost more uh, economical uh, and industrial cooperation that serve both sides' uh, benefits. Right. Uh, well, sir, the visit of the Slovenian foreign minister uh, comes within the realm of uh, boosting international cooperation and uh, relations with the, uh, other countries around the world. How do you assess Egypt's foreign policy during recent years? Um, that strategy, strategy that uh, I mentioned is, uh, is a unique uh, strategy that I, I believe that and I see that only Egypt has, has this strategy. Um, we are using our own um, best interests our own uh, national uh, uh, best interest as a direction that lead us all, uh, all, uh, only lead us to, to take us east or west wherever our own uh, uh, best interests uh, nationally takes us. Uh, we have balanced strategy with the, the, the nations uh, from the east and nations from the west and this happens for the very first time in our uh, modern history. Uh, we have this balance. Uh, we, we are not followed, uh, or, or not, we are not following any of the, the Eastern or the, the, the Western camp, but we have our own, um, I, may, I may call it um, campaign, or diplomatical campaign that we, we launched since the beginning of the era of our presidency of Mr. President Abdel Fattah Sisi, which has declared it to the whole world. We are not following any powers. We are friendly to any power that, that is uh, a friend, uh, country, friendly country to us. And only our the, 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 the mutual understanding and the common interests that can, that can bond us with any power in the world that uh, gained us the respect uh, from the whole countries and from all the nations and from all the regimes. Right. Uh, well, sir, uh, how do you assess Egypt's role in supporting the Palestinians uh, with the aim of helping them uh, face the ongoing humanitarian crisis in Gaza? Well, I, I, I said it before and I said it, I'll say it now that only Egypt has the, the, the true uh, solution key. And there is no uh, uh, solution can be resolved without the, the, the contribution and the control of Egypt. Um, why do I say that? Why do I say that? Because the eastern borders, uh, the, the, the side that be behind 
that uh, that borders means a lot the identity of the, 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 our neighbor on our uh, to our uh, eastern borders means a lot to our own national security which is a higher priority all over our history since thousands of years since ten thousands of years we are we are witnessing the threats uh, first degree from the, the, the eastern uh, front so that's why we have and we should and we are maintaining most of our uh, self-discipline and self-control and of course preserving uh, our own national security measures as well as protecting the rights of the Palestinians to have their own land, their own rights, of a, 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 at least of having their, uh, their own independent state, and to, uh, uh, to leash the, the, uh, the, the Zionist greeds in our, uh, our own Arabic land, as Egypt is the true um, armor and shield for this nation all over the region. Mm -hmm. We have uh, accomplished a lot uh, of uh, helping to, and uh, this, uh, this is not helping, this is the, the rights, uh, the, our, our brothers in, uh, in, uh, as an Arabic nation. And of course, the, they realize that the Palestinians, the, the true Arabs in Palestine, realize how important we are as the bigger and the biggest brother to, to them and to the whole nation. Right. We have supported them with, with, with all we have, we have good for the, the, the past uh, seven months. Right. Well, I would like to thank you so much, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, political analyst. Many thanks for your insight. And dear viewers, that was our coverage for the press conference that was just concluded between Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri and his Slovenian counterpart in Cairo. Stay tuned for more on Niles International.